What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh, taking you guys through the dual product line. They have two different shafts out on the market, the Punisher and the Lev. I know I've been through these shafts before, but I'm gonna try to do the same thing in a lot fewer words than I did last time. So, the dual Lev is kind of their signature shaft on the market. If we weigh the Lev here with the handy dandy weigh max, we will see it comes right in at 8.5. If I took off the little clip at the top, it'd be right around 8.2, 8.3. So that's a good two ounces heavier than, heavier than the average of the ECD Carbon and the Epic lines. The reason is, is because Jewel was going for an overall balance of the stick to kind of get that balance point below your top hand when you're cradling one-handed. Gives a little bit better feel if you're more of a vertical stick player instead of keeping your, your stick out to the side. So it's really one of those things that if you pick up both of the shafts with a head without a head on them, you'll notice the difference. But with a head on top, it's actually very tough to decipher. There's a lot of people who, who, are, who come in the store and are like, oh, with a head, it actually gets lighter. Obviously, that's not the case. But some interesting balance stuff. You really only start feeling that weight of the stick once you crest the 8-ounce mark, mark, which is kind of what we've found through our testing. So the lev is, is on the heavier end of the spectrum but does, doesn't crest into that 10 ounce mark where you really feel the weight like you do with the Punisher. Biggest thing that you notice with the Lev, obviously, and with all jewel shafts, is the ovular shape. So it has that octagonal shape inside, but they, they stuck with an ovular shape, which is really the way lacrosse shafts were originally carved. Uh, they were carved into more of the spherical shape just because it's easier to whittle. It's not like there were some Native Americans going and carving out octagons way back when. So it has, it's a different ergonomic feel that's been dabbled with before, but it's something that, that once you get used to it isn't really as much of an issue as you would think, and a really cool feel and a unique feel at that. Also, the Jewel Levs taper slightly at the top. The reason for this is because the Jewel Lev is one of the few shafts on the market that features a kick, par kick point in their shaft. What this means is that in between your hands, this shaft will not flex at all. So all of the flex in the, in the shaft that comes with most carbon fiber shafts is gonna be concentrated in the upper third, upper uh, half of the shaft, which allows this stick to still have a good amount of oomph when you shoot without having to get as low uh, as the six ounce range that some of the other shafts on the market have. With any shaft, that you're having this extra weight with, you would want it to be strong, and the Jewel Lev comes in with an industry-leading 18-month warranty. They actually had it as a lifetime warranty and retracted it down to the 18-month. These things are tough as nails. Most carbon fiber shafts on the market have between eight and 15 layers of carbon fiber prepreg that are a little bit thicker. These have about 100 plus layers of a much thinner carbon fiber prepreg. So they're not focused as much on the cross hatching as they are on just the overall layers. And so these have a breaking strain of well over 400 pounds for the short sticks, which is pretty, pretty remarkable. We've heard of one <laughs> break in the history of Juul, which is pretty neat. So you know when you're buying one of these, it's gonna be around for a long time. These shafts come in two different grips. Before I go into the puncher a little bit more, come in two different grips. There's the grit grip, which is kind of your more classic sandblasted grip. This does wear off a little over time, so I would treat it more like an uncoated shaft. Uh, and and I, I did end up taping mine a little after some time. And then there's the Positac grip, which the best analogy is it feels a little more like wide receiver gloves. So it's something that adds a little bit more grip without adding necessarily stickiness. So there's no there's no waxy stickiness. You know, if I'm if I'm pushing my finger into it, it's not catching on that grip. It's tough to explain without you guys feeling it in perfect in person, but uh, the jewel shafts sell in our experience about 30% with this pause attack and, and the 70% with the grip. So it's definitely something people have enjoyed and it's, it's worth trying in your local store if you have it around. The Punisher line 
is meant to do one thing. It's meant to punish. So you'll see when we weigh it on the handiest and dandiest of weigh maxes, this shaft comes in at a whopping 10.2 ounces. I already said earlier in this video that once you crest that eight, nine ounce mark that you start feeling the stick as heavier, this stick is heavy. It's designed to be that way. It's designed to frankly hurt people. The braking strength on this thing is almost over 600 pounds, if not more, which is pretty nuts. Uh, these, these shafts are, are tough as nails, and these are, this is really designed for more of your box player who's looking to, to lay some lumber. All of these shafts come in three different colors. So there's the three colors, the two grips. We have the gunmetal gray, the royal blue, and then what they're calling more of a candy red, just kind of red, blue, gray. Uh, they all have, the Punishers have this kind of gray and black logo on them. All of the jewels feature this, this blue stripe. I mean, all of the Levs feature this blue stripe. And that is pretty much it. So, yeah, Sam's telling me to wrap it up. Oh, his battery's about to die. Thanks so much. We'll catch you guys next time.